So I think we can all agree that Dark Souls 3 is just too easy of a game. And it's definitely way too easy for a Souls vet like I am. So I decided, because I'm a masochist, I need to make these games harder. So I went to ChatGPT to see if it would give me a ridiculously hard walkthrough of Dark Souls 3. For this area, I have to use the torch, and I'm not allowed to heal for the boss? Really? And let's just say, like always, ChatGPT did not let me down. ChatGPT wants me to beat the Nameless King without blocking, without parrying. I have to use the whip. Yeah, this isn't going to take 15 hours or anything. I'm pretty sure ChatGPT was able to create one of the hardest, if not the hardest, walkthrough for Dark Souls 3. So let's begin this journey of ridiculousness by ChatGPT. But first, a shameless plug. Recording alone for this walkthrough took over 60 hours and almost 450 deaths. It's 448. And then, of course, the editing took me 60 to 70 plus hours. So if this video turns into something you enjoy, I would really appreciate it if you liked the video. And of course, while you're doing that, you could also subscribe. It's just a click for you guys, but it means a lot to me. All right, shameless plug out of the way. Let's begin. So the current location we are in is the Cemetery of Ash and the weapon of choice already <laughs> is the broken straight sword begin your quest with the broken straight sword it might look a bit wobbly but hey it's an excellent conversation starter yeah because that's what i want to do wave it proudly and declare the broken straight sword because every hero deserves a weapon with character Oh, dude, this is so awesome. So i don't know why chat gpt started doing this uh, but she started giving me journey tips I didn't ask for those, but hey, you know, fook it, right? Uh, so journey tip, watch out for the local undead. They've been practicing, the, oh God. They've been practicing their synchronized rolling routines. Join in or dodge skillfully to avoid becoming a part of their act. Ha, oh. <laughs> you know what my favorite part of ChatGPT is? It embodies the <laughs> it embodies the most boomer things. It's beautiful. So when I was having ChatGPT make this walkthrough, I told her specifically to make sure that I get the weapon in the current area. So don't put a weapon in the beginning of the playthrough that I would need at the end of the playthrough because then I couldn't get it, obviously. And it assured me several times, don't worry. I, I, we, we didn't do anything like that. Don't worry. Um, You did, though, because the weapon I needed is right after this boss. It's literally on a grave. As soon as you open it, doors right after the boss. I didn't learn that until an hour later, so all I did was just farm these dead dudes for an hour until I realized I'm not getting that weapon. However, there is some good news. I did say some really stupid things before I decided, you know what? I'm just going to look this up to see wh where I find this weapon. Cool. I'm already at a dick hair of health. <laughs> already at a dick hair of Already dead. <laughs> I, I just realized there was an arrow sticking out of my right titty. Oh man, this is... This is going to be so much fun. All right. I have been doing this for way too long at this point. I, I've wasted 30 minutes just trying to farm this. I'm pretty sure you can't get it in this location. Uh, I looked it up. It says you can get it after defeating the first boss. I need it to defeat the first boss. And so I had to return to ChatGPT and ask her if there was any reason why I wouldn't have the weapon or I couldn't get the weapon until I defeated a certain boss. What should I do? I have to do it. No hit. <laughs> so it, it, it said you can use any weapon. As long as you don't get hit. That's the only way you can beat this. Yep, that's the only weapon I have. So, that means I have to use a club, at least for this first boss, and not get hit. Which is, that's just, that's just a lot of fun, you know, because, like, I'm, I'm really good at, as you can see, I'm really good at not getting hit. Alright, bet in the comments below if I'm going to be able to do this. <laughs> I, I'm not. In the right mind sees a sword inside of a living rooted statue and goes you know what i should mess with that I, sh I i should yeah i should i should pull some things out of it god i, I i'm so bad <laughs> i am so bad i'm going it, this is gonna take forever ah cock milk <laughs> all right fine they weren't wrong though so in the comments below did did you bet i couldn't do it i i, I bet that's what you bet because <laughs> i didn't do it first try maybe the second try will be different well, that's a bummer. So at this point, I now have to admit to you guys, I've never beaten Dark Souls 3. I don't know why. Every single time I get to that annoying, swampy, poisonous area, it, it it's just a boner chiller. <laughs> it's a boner chiller. I don't want to be I, like, I don't I would just much rather play Dark Souls 1 or 2. So that's why I don't know how to dodge and I die over and over 
and over and over and over again. But don't worry, this didn't take too long. It only took like an hour. So it's like, that's not a big deal. Here are some stupid things I said. <laughs> guy just jizzed on me. <laughs> he just jazzed on me. Dude literally backhand me like I was one of his whores. <laughs> I see I don't know how to dodge. <laughs> Dude just cold cocked me one right in the face. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh. I'm just out here getting tossed around like I'm this dude's used jazz rag. <laughs> oh man. This guy's this guy's crusty sock underneath his bed. That's how he treats me. God, sack of Jawia! I, I just keep letting this guy sock it right in the face! Dick Shiner. <clears throat> Time for me to completely destroy you. Cock milk! <laughs> Dude, that. Uh, I don't know why I, I don't anticipate that Molly Wop he gives me straight to the dome. That haymaker. Oh, God. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. We're good. Ha ha! The one time you didn't hit me with that punch. Yo whore. Here we go. Ah, cock milk, man. God. I'm just gonna go commit kumicide real quick. Kumicide is where you jizz too much. <laughs> I don't know why I'm explaining that. No, no one will ever ask what kumicide. Uh, obviously, it's because you came too much. I get. Everyone gets it. God, idiot. Oh, you, you dude. Oh my God. You have chlamydia. I hope you know that. Here you go. Lick the balls. Keep hitting them. No. Okay. Okay. Back off. Oh, yes. Hit the shit. Yes. Oh, come on. Please, God. Yes. Slick my sack. Oh, I am a god. <laughs> I literally did something that thousands of people have done. Oh, I didn't realize that I was a straight G at Dark Souls. All right, all right, all right, calm down. But before you even comment what you're about to comment, yes, I did. I was missing a chunk of health, this chunk right here. However, as you can see, it is because I fell at the beginning. I, I this is the whole fight. I didn't get hit once because I'm a fucking god. <laughs> uh, it was a lot easier than what I actually thought it was going to be. But of course, before we go to the next area, I I, I know you guys, okay? Like not not too well, but, but I'm starting to I'm starting to know you guys. You guys call me out on literally everything, so don't worry. Yes, I fought the crystallized spum lizard, okay? Don't worry, it took forever. I don't know why I'm doing this. I really don't. Yeah, I I know why I'm doing this. I know for a fact you guys in the comments will be like, oh, you forgot to kill the blue lizard, the, the spum lizard. <laughs> I, I, why do I call everything jizz? I don't know. Probably because I'm dumb. Does it upset you that someone who is so unskilled is molly whopping the shite out of you? I bet it does. Okay. All right. Well, you know, you don't have to be a dick. Okay. <laughs> you don't have to be a dick. All right. <sighs> Fighting this guy makes my balls itch. <laughs> <laughs> why? I don't know why I said that. That was stupid. <laughs> That was stupid. It does, though. Every time I fight this crystal thing, it just it just makes me feel like I got crabs. <laughs> oh, man. I am tired. It's 4 a.m. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, my God. Like, you're not going to be able to touch me, bro. I'm going to defeat you. Uh, and then I'm going to visit your mom. And I'm going to impregnate her. And I'm going to give you another brother. <laughs> I was going to say I was going to make your dad watch. <laughs> but okay, you got offended. Fine. God, just a, he's a sore winner. Pick the sack. I've decided I, you know what? I'm not going to bang your mom. That, that would just be too easy. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to bang your dad. I'm going to become your stepfather. Oh my God. You're going to love it too. I'll be a good stepdad to you. I promise. No, 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 no. Cock milk. Okay. Oh, uh, oh, what? That one shot at me. Oh, I'm going to go piss. <laughs> oh my God. This game is so annoying sometimes. I do have to tinkle though. Uh, get, how? <laughs> how? How did Asmongold get that big titted sexy bitch? <laughs> Her left booby weighs as much as him. <laughs> oh man. All these are jokes, by the way. I want to know what made her go, hmm. I have this guy who is just one of the be most beautiful men to ever exist, or. I can pick the guy that peaked in elementary school. <laughs> I can pick this dude who's beautiful, or I can pick the guy whose peepee -pee probably looks like E.T.'s finger. <laughs> Doesn't that fit just a little? 
All right, I'm inside the rock again. Good. I really hope I don't glitch and accidentally fall through the world. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, ah, tamed your ass first try. <laughs> first try. I'm, I'm counting that as my first try, by the way. And don't worry, guys. I didn't forget about the Grandmaster Katana wielding guy. I don't, I don't know his name. This, this skinny bitch right here. I hope you know I'm about to tame you. You're about to be tamed, bro. Go ahead and do it. Do it. Oh. What a whore. <laughs> Damn it! Wait, did he just die too? It looked like he fell off. <gasps> he did die! I didn't get any of his souls, but I got his stuff. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Yep, yeah, that's skill, boy. <laughs> that's just, you know, that's skill. You know, that's just how it is, man. Some people have it and some people don't. I talked that man into Kuma side. All right, so now it's on to the high walls of Lothric. All right, so we finally made it to the high walls of Lothric. The weapon of choice in this area will be the Claymore. I'm gonna have to level up for that. I don't think I have. I don't think I have the stats for it. Ascend the walls of Lothric with the Claymore. Unleash your inner knight's rage, scarring walls, foes, and the occasional imaginary dragon. Announce Claymore because sometimes you just want to be a knight on a great adventure. Uh, Pro tip, the view from, oh God, the view from the high wall is breathtaking. Take a moment to appreciate it, but be cautious. Heights and enemies with pointy objects don't mix well. How is that a, how is that a tip? So finally, after way too long, I was able, I was able to level up enough to, to wield this. Right now I am rocking the deserter armor set. So the penalty for switching my armor set, even it, it, it's every single time you switch it. This time, the penalty is I am not allowed to block. So I actually happen to have gotten through this area pretty easily. And of course, here are some more dumb things I've said. Give him the old Qaddafi, you know what I mean? Oh God. Oh, come on, that was a Qaddafi! For anyone who doesn't, <laughs> for anyone who doesn't know, look up Qaddafi, all right? I'm pretty sure he was a terrorist or however you're allowed to say that now. And uh, the Marines or the Navy, I don't remember who. Uh, uh, or, or maybe even his own civilians, I don't know. They uh, uh, ended him by stabbing him in the butt. Or at least that's all I know. I don't, I don't even know if that's true. This guy's molly whopping me. I need to fucking stay focused. And now, of course, I have to show you proof of how this guy died. And in what other way can I show you guys the proof besides pulling up an incredibly old episode of Tosh.0? Because that's all the, that, that's, that, that, that's my proof. <laughs> An episode of Taj.0 where he made fun of it. That's my proof. By the way, it's Gaddafi, not Qaddafi. I, it happened years ago, all right? Sue me. But what really makes it special is the part where one of them takes out a utility knife and repeatedly jams it up Gaddafi's ass. Yes, Gaddafi! <laughs> all right, right up the poop chute. I don't, I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight you. Uh, no, I have no quarrel. I have no quarrel with you. I don't think you can follow me over here. I think you're too tubby. I don't know if you can fit through here. Can you fit through here? Nah, you can't fit through here. Can you? Oh, you can No way you're fitting through this. No fucking way. Oh, now that's just horse shot. Are you kidding me, game? <laughs> Are you kidding me? All right, it's finally time to fight. I'm gonna mess this up. Vort of the Boral Valley? Vort of the Boral Valley? I don't know. I do Whatever. So it turns out this boss is fairly easy. Not being able to block was not an issue at all. And this was actually the second try. All right. We have entered the undead settlement, which means a new weapon. And ChatGPT is going to tell me something stupid. <laughs> the weapon of choice in the undead settlement is the mail breaker. The mall breaker? All right. Let's hope this thing is good. I bet it's not. Stroll through the lively undead settlement with the mall breaker. Open letters and un- wait, hold on. Open letters and undead alike with style. Proclaim the mall breaker. For punctual demise delivers an efficient undead unboxing. Oh my god. All right, the, the pro tip in this area. The undead settlement is hosting a festival gathering. Join the party, dance with the undead. Be wary of the undead DJ. He drops beats and curses. 
How are any of these tips? So I quickly made my way through this area, making sure to dodge all the dogs who are literally the most annoying enemy in any Dark Souls. Fight me. <laughs> I hate the dogs so much. And I happen to have stumbled upon a really nice friend who I, I hope I can uh, become more, more than friends with. Champion. <laughs> <laughs> how, how is it that your head and neck looks like an uncirc... You know what? <laughs> it, it doesn't matter. It also looks like the most beat up of vages you've seen on the hub. <laughs> Oh my god. How how does your head have sloppy beef curtains? <laughs> oh god. That is just I, I don't know whether to run away from you or to try to bang you. <laughs> or to try to slip it into your head. You know what I mean? <sighs> Good night, you beautiful bitch. Oh nice! You know what? <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna put on that hat. Oh, I look beautiful! <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let's get a closer look. Oh, I am gorgeous. So after meeting my Vagtastic friend, I decided I was going to make friends with other people as well. Well, I was going to murder you, but uh, <laughs> that guy helped me. Oh, what the? Come on now, man. You don't have to be a dick. So after also quickly getting through this area, AKA I, I didn't say anything funny. So what's the point of watching it? <laughs> what's the point of watching it? It is now time to fight an overweight tree. And at this point, because I have not yet picked up a new armor set, I still had the previous or the current armor sets challenge, which is I couldn't block. Overall, this fight was genuinely boring. I've, I, every time I fought this thing, I always thought it was boring because all I do is uh, as soon as we fall down the pit, you just move away from it until it, goes to crawl at you, and then it falls over, and then you hit it a bunch. Fun. This thing is literally if Humpty Dumpty banged a tree. Yep, 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 you're the king, you're the king. I, I get it, I get it. You're God's chosen, you're God's chosen. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. You're God's, you're God's chosen one. I'm, I'm in a corner, I can't see shit. I'm, I'm, I'm panicking. Oh, cocklipse, man. Damn it. Yep, and there goes 15,000 souls because I took a bowl of fucking chili to the face. Oh, I love it. Oh, whew, love this game. When are you gonna fucking, Jesus, that actually scared the shit out of me. So after quickly decimating <laughs> this rat mom and all of her tiny little rat children, you're welcome by the way, I went to an area that I have actually never been in before. And I happen to have come across every man's true dream. A sexy blonde bitch who needs help. <laughs> and let's just say I had a uh, 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 she she dis uh, she disappeared. Just like every man who wakes up from their dream. Oh hey, a woman. All right, I'll touch you. I swear to God, if you give me an STD, I better not get chlamydia, bitch. Oh no, you're kind of a looker, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe a little herpes won't be that bad, right? I thought I thought this bitch was gonna give me AIDS. Instead, she gave me how to. She taught me how to pray to Jesus. <laughs> I'm not trying to pray to Jesus. I'm trying to get. <laughs> I'm trying to get into your sweet, sweet walls, bitch. All right. Well, I'm going to go fight that guy down there. I'm going to slaughter his daughter. And then I'm going to call his wife. Show his wife a good time. If you know what I mean? Just, you know, it's just who I am. I'm a caring person. <laughs> That's just who I am. All right, bro. I'm about to make you a cuck. Get ready. You're about to be watching your wife get. <laughs> you're about to watch your wife get banged by a real man while you're in the closet touching your pecky. Oh, oh, oh uh, th that that didn't touch me somehow. I have I have a gift from God. Oh, come on now, that's horse shit. Is he dead? He's about to be. Oh my God, bro. Yeah, first try. Lick my pecker, bitch. Oh yeah. <sighs> Well, I guess that's the next armor set. Well, at least I can block now, but now we have to find out what penalty I have. Yay, fun. I love I love penalties. All right, I look pretty cool. All right. I will say I I saw that I I received a, a hat that I've never Ooh, now okay. I went from pretty cool to straight up gorgeous. <laughs> All right, I'm going to wear this. <laughs> I'm I'm so dumb. All right, I'm fabulous. <laughs> I will save your beer until the end of the game. Ooh, you know what? That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm going to save that beer until we get to the end of the game. So now we get a new penalty. The good thing is I can rock a shield. Thank God. However, I, honestly, I've been, I've been do I, I've just been taming bitches out here. I've been doing so good. Penalty for your next armor set is 
I, I don't even know why I do these. You can't heal when you're fighting a boss. Okay, cool. That's <laughs> that is. Uh, let, let me just. I love that. As I tend to do a lot when I'm playing these games, I had a stupid thought. And just the smallest of warnings, it might go on for a little bit too long. My apologies, but here it is. But I am actually genuinely curious what you guys think about this. So after you after you hear what I'm about to say, comment down below and tell me if I'm right or wrong. All right, I'm going to say something controversial, like really controversial. And I know it's probably going to uh, uh, piss a few of you guys off. So comment down below that I'm wrong and that I'm dumb and that I don't really appreciate Souls games because I hate this. I don't think invasions should be in the game. I, there's there's legitimately no reason for this game to have that type of multiplayer. I, I I'm completely cool with you doing co-op. That's fine. Whatever. Like I don't I don't really rock the co-op. But if you want to rock co-op with your friend, that's cool with me, man. Like the more the merrier. Have fun. Play the game the way you want. I genuinely don't think invasions add anything to the game that's worthwhile. I think the only thing it does is it puts an artificial bullshit cap on the game. It does nothing but slows down the progress that you're making in game and also it it legitimately turns new players off i don't know maybe i'm wrong comment down below tell me how wrong i am but i genuinely feel like i'm right about that statement but i will say this okay do i actually care that there's invasions not really because like just go offline whatever just be invaded by robots or whatever like that that that's fine with me to have uh, like legit invasions I never liked it. Especially because you know, I mean, also on top of that, the people that invade you, they're gonna have the meta weapons. You're gonna have no idea what the meta weapons are unless you are really into this game. So uh, like for instance, Elden Ring, oh my God, every time I got invaded, I got attacked by, what's that Rana blood or, or what, whatever that blood katana was that melted the shit out of you. However, I also don't know how to fight dogs. So, you know, maybe it's just a skill issue. <laughs> maybe it's a skill issue. All right, we have entered the Road of Sacrifice. So, new location, new weapon. The weapon of choice in the Road of Sacrifices is the Torch? Does this thing do any damage? Does this thing do damage? 35. Embark on the Road of Sacrifices, armed with the beautifully lit torch. Turn sacrifices into a flame-filled celebration, shouting, the Torch, because sacrifices should be tasty and crispy? Shakespearean writing over here. All right, and the pro tip for this area, the road is paved with sacrifices, but it's also an excellent runway for a dancing flame fashion show. Strut your stuff, stuff, sorry, strut your stuff, and watch out for the fashion critics. They bite. How, how is that a pro tip? <laughs> how? It's not a tip. It's just ChatGPT's excuse for saying more stupid shite. So I was genuinely wondering, how long would ChatGPT take to give me a terrible weapon to use? Uh, not that long, because the torch is terrible. I don't know if I can... Oh my god, it's slow. Oh my god, it's so slow. Oh my god, look, look at this thing. It's gonna mollywop me. Y you could be a little faster. Isn't there a burn effect? How is that faster? Okay, okay, that's faster. So we'll, we'll, we'll do the... Oh my god. Dude, one enemy is gonna take all of my health. Yeah, I'm just a king over here with my beautiful... <laughs> with my beautiful sun hat. We just have to be patient. <laughs> we just have to be patient with this weapon. It's a good weapon, guys, I promise. I should probably level it up. Can I level up a torch? That sounds fucking stupid. <laughs> All right, 45 plus three, huh? That's that's some, oh my God. So many dudes are gonna try to attack me and it's just not gonna work because I'm gonna be able to fucking flame them to death. God, that's so slow. Oh my God. Okay, I get it, okay? Your mom never loved you and that's why you're hurting me. Would you like that? Are you throwing poop on me, bitch? So you're a man-eater, huh? Well, I'm a bitch taker. Bye. <laughs> Wait. I probably don't get her items, do I? They're right there. Yay. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. I have now decided I'm gonna take a little bit of time and poke fun at the people that say that Dark Souls 2 aggro range is ridiculous and, and they chase you for way too long. Um, bitch, <laughs> these fuckers 
were right here and I was able to run all the way over here and they still chased me. And then when I, when I came back to the bonfire, guess what? Yeah, they were still chasing me. So it's not just Dark Souls 2, guys. Don't give a shite if, if you don't like it. I don't like it either. I agree with you. I think aggro ranges shouldn't be that crazy. But if you're going to complain about one, at least have the decency to complain about both. Come on, sweet baby Jesus. Oh, God. baby Jesus. Like, come on. Oh, Sacagawea. I don't know. Take that helmet off. Let's see. <laughs> Take that helmet off and also that chest plate off. See what we're working with here. You're cool with that, right? All right. Sounds like you're cool with it. All right. Mm. Oh my God. Okay. This dog is an asshole and has followed me from one side of this place to the next. And it just keeps appearing. How is this legal? How is this legal? This dog is on Adderall. I mean, you were going to suck me off so hard. I don't want to do this. Oh my God. I was joking when I said you were going to suck me off. No, 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 no. Oh my God. Please get up. Please get up. Is this, <laughs> this is such a dumb joke. Is this what happened to the other dudes that were crucified that weren't Jesus? This is what they turned into? My God. Jesus was like, have not worry, brother. You will be sent to the gates of heaven. And these guys are like, no, I'm good. <laughs> I'd rather sit in on the ground and wait for one guy, wait for thousands of years for one stupid cracker to walk by me. So that way I can go beast mode on him. Oh, come on. How am I being poisoned now? That should, that should be a felony. He's like, I was the one on the left side of Jesus. <laughs> oh God. As this guy dies, he goes, oh. Mary Magdalene was hot. <laughs> I really need to stop doing those jokes. They're jokes, guys. Oh God. Ha ha. Did you not realize that I was a guard at, at dodging? <laughs> okay. All right. You caught me off guard. All right. So now it's finally time to fight the crystal sage. And I'm just going to say, I hate this boss because of how easy it is. And because I couldn't heal and I had to use this stupid torch. It made it way harder than it should have been. And I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> I fought for, I fought this thing for so long. I just, I just went and fought other bosses and then came back to it later. But don't worry. I did eventually tame that sweet, sweet, old, rotten, dusty, <laughs> dusty web covered puss. And of course, as per usual, here are some stupid things I said. Oh, come on. I swear to God, woman, when I finally murder you, I'm going to use your stupid robes as a jizz rag. Oh, come on. That didn't even touch me. Oh, my God, dude. I'm so tired of this stupid boss. It's... It's not even, it's not even that she's hard. She's not at all. If I had a normal weapon, I would be taming this bitch's vag. 100%. I'd be known as the Iron Chef of Pound and Vag. All right, I've done some leveling up. My character looks more grizzled than ever. <laughs> it looks, it looks like Clint Eastwood 90 years from now. Well, more like a year from now, but you know what I mean. You know what this boss is like? <laughs> I came up with a really good comparison, an, an analogy, if you will. This boss is like going up against an untrained, untrained six-year-old. I don't know why I said untrained. It's like fighting a six-year-old when you're 25, right? And you're a fucking just decked out dude. You're muscular as shit, right? You know you're going to take down that six-year-old. It's a six-year-old, right? The thing is, though, is that every time that six-year-old goes to punch, a 29-year-old Arnold comes and molly whops you every time so you're like but, but i know i can beat this guy but i'm being handicapped that's literally what's happening that is this fight oh cock milk milk in my dick hole god i fucking hate this game i'm such an idiot <laughs> every single time i say milk in the dick i'm literally just saying jerk off <laughs> just jerk off <laughs> oh god i'm such an idiot i'm sorry that you guys have to watch me perform idiocracy. And so finally, after several hours, after leveling myself up several times, after leveling up my torch several times, which never thought I was ever going to have to do level up a stupid torch, but hey, it is what it is. I finally conquered this stupid boss with a chode level of health, by the way. <laughs> I was so worried that I was about to lose because I, I probably died 50 times of this thing. It, 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 it's, 
I, I'm not even gonna go into it. I'm not even gonna go into it. I'm down with it. I never want to see it again. I, F it. I, 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 I hope it falls down a well of, of dicks that are just jetting out of the wall of the well. And it, it, it just face first, just slap, 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 just slapping all these dicks as she's falling down this hole. Fook you. Yes! I don't care if I died. That bitch better die first. Yes! Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, thank God. Uh, we are in fair and keep now. The weapon of choice is the Knight's Crossbow. I've actually never used this. Lead through the swampy chaos of Farron's Keep, wielding the Knight's Crossbow. Be the clean knight of the muck and declare the Knight's Crossbow because every swamp adventure needs a speeding arrow? Oh, okay. Uh, pro tip! The swamp has its own rhythm. Join in with some swampy dance moves, but avoid the quicksand. It's not as soft as it looks. <sighs> okay, let's go. All right, so now it's time for me to be very upfront and letting all of you know I hate this place. Many times have I tried to beat this game and this place always makes me go, yeah, I'm, I'm not playing this anymore. But this time I was actually able to get through it pretty quickly. I lit all the stupid towers and I was out of there as fast as I could. Just die. Just please. Just please die in a fire. Uh, did you just throw poop at me? This, this fucking cracker just threw poop at me. Oh my God. I should be, I should be offended. <sighs> do I have the patience? <laughs> do I have the patience to do this? I don't know why my guy still looks defeated. <laughs> what, what, what happened? How do you make him not look so brutally beaten? <laughs> he looks anorexic. Uh, the penalty for wearing this, the cleric blue robes, and that is, I'm not allowed to complain for one boss fight. <laughs> so I have to essentially just stay quiet. And it's gonna be really hard because I have a crossbow and I really wanna complain. So after dying to the Abyss Watchers, probably as many times as the Crystal Sage, I know, it's ridiculous. I was finally able to beat him with a crossbow. And I kind of know what you're thinking right now. I bet you're thinking, oh, I can't wait for him. Oh, he's a dick sucker. This boss sucks dick, blah, blah, blah. No, no, I I can't believe how much fun I had with this boss. I, there, there is a complete difference when it comes to the sage and this boss. And that is the sage is just boring. It's a boring fight and I knew I was too good for it. This boss fight was exhilarating heart pounding the whole time my hands are shaking because I, I don't know what it, it just finally and I, I think this is where I started to really understand the rolling in this game just being able to roll out of everything and just being just one second away from him just murdering me was perfect and I loved it this boss fight was amazing and I would love to do it again Oh, <laughs> I did it. Oh, oh. <coughs> holy shit, dude. My hands are shaking. Oh, holy shit. <sighs> like legit, legitimately, my hands are shaking. That as soon as his health went to half, my hands started shaking. Holy shit. I can't believe how hard that was. That guy is ridiculous. Dude, I, I am literally shaking like a leaf. Whew, oh my god, all right. Cool. <laughs> Sorry if that was completely quiet. I was super gaming right there. I was in gaming mode. And don't worry, I didn't forget. Here's the stupid things I said. Just take one of them. <laughs> oh, I'd be so, I'd be so upset if I was doing all these awesome blade things next to this dude. And he just goes, yeah, take this. And <laughs> just, just bow and arrows me in the chest. All right, guy, come to, come to life and start fighting one of them. Not me, not me! Oh my God, this guy is a whore. Ow. Uh, I don't know why you're such a dick to me, dude. <laughs> As I'm crossbowing him in the chest. Why are you a dick to me? <laughs> oh, I was about to say, if I could keep hitting you in the face, that'd be beautiful. I'm stuck on pots! Oh, come on! I swear, <laughs> game companies put tiny little obstructive things in their shit so that way you run into them and destroy your perfect run. I'm not complaining. Fuck off. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, 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 Christ on a cracker. 
All right, so the penalty for wearing this armor set is I can't do this. I can't roll. <sighs> That's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to... Oh, man, I can't wait to do that. All right, so like I said, we are now in the catacombs. So since we're in a new location, that is a new weapon as well. The weapon for the catacombs is Dark Drift. I've actually never used this weapon. I've never even had it. It's an invisible blade. That's really cool. Um, and I can't use it, so it looks like I'm going to have to farm for a little. Stealthily explore the catacombs of Carthus. Is that how you pronounce that? <laughs> Carthus? Car it's probably Carthus. With the Dark Drift, stab your way through the shadows and murmur. The Dark Drift bringing subtlety to the catacomb chaos. Silence is golden, and so, and so are my stabbing, and so are my stab. So it was at this point I decided I needed to find a place to start farming in a good place. While looking it up, I saw on several different websites people saying, all you have to do is defeat the dancer. Once you get past the dancer, there's a bunch of enemies over there that are really high, and it's easy farmable, and you can get a lot of souls. So uh, that's what I uh, that's what I attempted to do. Um, the, I was not ready for the dancer. <sighs> all right, let's see if I messed up doing this. Yep, couldn't roll away from that. <laughs> oh my god, alright, let's 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 upgrade the claymore, huh? Just have to get up in her snatch in order for her not to hurt me. <laughs> okay, alright, I I gotta get a little closer into that snatch. I gotta be- I gotta be smelling the ocean before I can do anything. I- I really wish I could roll. Oh my god, this fight's gonna be so annoying. Especially when she starts doing that- dance of sword slashes that I'm not going to be able to dodge or block. Ah, this wasn't, this wasn't a, this wasn't a mistake or anything. <laughs> no, 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 I'm glad I did this. All I want to do is fight this lady for the next five hours. Okay, so here's my thought. I can go ahead and I can slaughter a boss real quick, which will allow me to change my armor so that way I can roll for this boss fight, because this boss fight I'm probably going to need to roll. Yeah, that, I mean, that, that probably sounds good, right? Oh, damn it. <laughs> I was, I was having fun dodging you while casually talking. Dick hugger. So like I was saying, this boss was just way too hard because I was immediately getting one tapped. Maya's, for some reason, I thought if if all if only I could roll, I could easily get this boss that one taps me. No big deal. So I decided to go to the Cathedral of the Deep, get that boss fight over so that way I could exchange the outfit I was wearing to one that will allow me to roll. Excuse me, I just need to open this door. No, 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 it's, it's cool. C continue, continue with who you are and how you act. The Cathedral of the Deep. The weapon of choice. It's bare fist. <laughs> it's, 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 it's bare fist. Illuminate the dark halls of the cathedral with the raging inferno of your bare fist. Light the way and declare my bare fist for those who like their battles, both bloody and slightly painful to me. I, okay, I guess maybe if I break a few fingers. Pro tip <laughs> is my favorite part. The cathedral's acoustics are top notch. Practice your battle cries and watch as the echoes attract the attention of both enemies and potential undead talent agents. All right, you know what? That is a good pro. I'm gonna make sure I watch out for some talent. Maybe, maybe I only really gotta finish this game. I'll just become a professional at yelling. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You guys praying? Let me, let me see if I can. Join you. Here we go. This is my this is my prank pose. There we go. There's a bunch of boys hanging out, you know. Excuse, guys, excuse me. Excuse me. I need guys. I I need I need whatever that is. Oh my god! I didn't realize all of you were gonna be Sid vicious. Is it even worth it? <laughs> Is it worth it? Oh my good god. All right. Getting the fook out of here. You can lick my sack, buddy. <gasps> oh. You know what? You chill down there. I'm going up here now. That's life. So this might shock you guys, but I was able to get through this area fairly easy. I don't know. I I, I just kind of blazed through it. I didn't really try to fight anything. That's that's probably why. Stare at the right one. Come on. I know there's a million of them. Oh my god. Look at the- oh my god. Look at this tomfoolery right now. Oh my god. What am I- what, what is this? The Pope? <laughs> I gotta fight the Pope. Really? Time to die, your holiness. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I'm just gonna- I'm gonna get molly whopped real quick. Okay, so I don't think I can damage him until his little deacons of dick suckers. <laughs> 
or uh, until they're all dead. So, all right. I don't remember how to fight this guy. It's been a long time. Stupid. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait until he's alone like that. There we go. The Pope will never be left alone, but we're going to wait until he's left alone. And then I'm going to, did I die? I can't believe I didn't die. It's always the tubby ones, man. <laughs> it's always the chubby bitches that ruin everything. God, healthcare. <laughs> All right, that's that's too smart of a joke. What am I doing? I forgot. All I need to do. No. <sighs> this is gonna turn into one of those sage bosses, isn't it? Where it's a super easy boss and any weapon could be able to decimate them. But doing it this way just makes it suck. So thankfully this boss didn't turn into a crystal sage boss and I was able to <laughs> very quickly get around all the stupid tubby deacons and get to the Pope in the middle. Overall, I honestly didn't like this guy. I didn't even like this guy when I had a real weapon. Why would I like him bare fisted? Uh, insert a fisting the Pope joke right here. The punishment for this armor set is I have to use the weapon offhand. So like not not too bad, but annoying. So now equipped with my new armor set, I decided to go back to the catacombs. And because I have I I'm I still can't wield the dark drift just yet. I need to level up a few more times. I just decided to literally sprint through everything. I don't think I killed a single thing here because every time I did hit them, it was like 10 health. <laughs> These guys have like a thousand health. That's I'm being a little hyperbolic, but they have a lot of health. So again, I just sped through until I got to the boss because I knew I was hoping that the boss would be easy because that exists in Dark Souls games. All right. So with the very little amount of damage I do because I'm still like five levels lower. That's a hand. <laughs> I'm still five levels lower than what I should be. Let's go ahead and see if we can do anything. I really? <laughs> This is not gonna happen. I'm gonna try to go for this one. So of course I was going nowhere dealing six damage. I knew I had to go level up, so I did that real quick. You have got, you've got to be licking my ball sack, dude. This is, this is preposterous. <laughs> Worst part about this, it's not that this boss is really boring, because <laughs> he is, it's not that. I, I don't know why, my my house is just the hottest house in in, in the world. What the hell is going on? Finally, Jesus. Couldn't wait for you to die. I'm just sitting over here in a pool of ball sweat. Jesus. All right, that was easy. All right, the penalty for the cell word armor set is you must fat roll. Do I fat roll? There we go. There's a fat roll. <laughs> There's a chub roll. All right, let's go. How is it? <laughs> How is it something this bony? can have the ass jiggle of a god. <laughs> does, does, am I the only one that noticed that? I feel like that's the only thing I'm staring at this whole time. Am I the only one that's noticing that somehow this skeleton of a woman possibly has has the has the booty jiggle of Nicki Minaj? Any any anyone? No one? Just me? I'm I'm a weirdo for staring. Okay, good to know. I'm so much slower now that I'm tubby. <laughs> this is annoying. So I'm just gonna say it right now. At this point, I didn't have any patience at all for this fight. So I just moved on to the next area, especially after this happened. After this happened, I remember specifically going, okay, cool. I'm walking away from this before I punch my computer screen. Oh, come. How far away was I from that grab? And the weapon of choice for this place is the great wooden hammer. This weapon, I'm not kidding you, took me two and a half hours, <laughs> two and a half hours to get because there's like two dudes in the undead settlement that have this. Maybe I'm an idiot. I'm, I, I, I probably am, but it took me forever to get this weapon. I'm glad I got it. We can continue on. God, was it just not worth it? Frolic, that's such a stupid word. Frolic your way through the icy landscapes, wielding the great wooden hammer. Smash your way through the frosty obstacles and announce the great wooden hammer because sometimes you just need a touch of nature to break the ice. Timber, anyone? Oh God, <laughs> oh God. All right, the pro tip in this area. The, uh, the, the professional's tip is the icy tundra can be slippery. Embrace your inner figure skater or invest in undead appropriate snow boots. The choice is yours. Whew, all right. Oh, 
And I almost forgot, look, oh my god, this place is so beautiful. This place is so beautiful. I almost forgot we have another armor set as well because we just beat the the, the skeleton boss back there. I forget his name. Wool, Wolfhorn or I don't, I don't know, who, who cares? All right, our next armor set was the next one I picked up, which was the Conjurer's armor set. All right, all right, all right. So before you comment it, I know I, I didn't do a boss with this armor set on. I don't know why. I, I think it was probably like 4 a.m. when I was recording this. I was it was late. I was tired. I forgot. So I, I moved on. I'm sorry. All right. I look pretty cool. I love the stash. I, I feel like I feel like taking this off will make me. Yep. Makes me look cooler. <laughs> that stash is so much more pronounced this way. I don't know why. It's beautiful. I hate fighting guts is inner rage. If you know, you know. God. <sighs> yep. This is this is such a cool boss. I don't like it's not even a boss. It's like a mini boss, but they should have made this an actual boss. Guts is in a rage. Come on now, guys. Again, if you know, you know. All right. I, this, this is the last time I'm fighting this guy. I'm beating him this time. And when I'm done beating him, I'm going to ship his ass to China so he can become someone's dinner. <laughs> so he can become Yao Ming's dinner. Who's who's the president? Xi Jinping. So he can become Xi Jinping's pad thai. <laughs> What I tell you, bitch? What did I tell you? Shipping you to China. <laughs> There's a guy behind me. I hear him. Yep. Now, uh, the tomfoolery in this game. I think that's called purging. Oh my god. I didn't know both of you crackers were going to come out of nowhere. Oh, come on, man. This is. This is just un. Time, I'm tired of being killed by privileged, beautiful men. <laughs> oh my god. They kind of have the... <laughs> uh, I don't like to do this joke because I actually I actually like him and watch a lot of his videos. They kind of have the build and look of Asmongold. <laughs> oh man, I'm sorry. It's okay. He'll never watch a single one of these videos. So it's cool. Our jokes can stay between us. The 100 people that watch this. <laughs> If you want to, <laughs> if you want a PSA, if you want an easy mode on any Dark Souls game, all you have to do, and I'm not kidding, legitimately all you have to do, it well, all you have to do is find magic. <laughs> then, then all of a sudden you have uh, Dark Souls on games journalist mode. But, but if you don't want to use magic because you're not that much of a puss, just use the great sword. It's the murder button. All right, so at this point, I realized I was so underleveled that I just really needed to buckle down and just just farm as much as I could. So I decided why not go back to the dancer because everyone's saying that's one of the best farming places besides in game where all those chubby dudes with the angel wings are. And then finally, after a few more hours of trying to defeat this dancer, I, I, I was finally able to do it. I God. Most annoying thing about this fight was solely that she one shot me every single time she hit me once or damn near one shot me, which is honestly kind of sad that like that's the difficult thing about this fight. All the all, all the moves are pretty dodgeable, blockable. You can kind of back away from her. She doesn't attack that much, even with both swords out. I don't know why when I mean, I, I never fought her before. This is actually the first time I've done it. I don't know why that when I would watch videos, I'd be like, wow, I don't think I can go up against that guy. What are you talking about <laughs> that? Like. Millennia would destroy this bitch. Oh, 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 thank God. Oh, I did it. My God. Oh, that bitch is tough. How did she have a jiggly ass? <laughs> How? Oh, yeah. <laughs> And you know what? I'm not even ashamed of admitting it because he's staring at that. That's all he's looking at. He's like, God, why did I never try? <laughs> why did I never try to bang this bitch? She's so hot. Look at her. My God. Her boobs are as big as my left thigh. <laughs> all right, I'm just going to sneak up on you. Oh, uh, well, I didn't know there was a son of a bitch. You're a whore. All right, you cock sniffer. I hope you realize you ruined a perfect backstab. So you know what? You ruined my perfect Qaddafi. So if I'm able to find you, is there a secret stairway somewhere? I, I promise you, I will pin you down. 
<laughs> that that sounded a little too bad. I promise you, I will find out where you're fu- Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, try to get me now, whore. I'll find out where your father is, and I will butt slam him harder than your mom ever could. Thank God this isn't permadeath. <laughs> this is going through my heart. Oh, you're so mine. <laughs> you're so- Is there any other cracker around here? None of them are hanging on the roofs or anything? Okay. You are so mine. Oh my god, I'm gonna knock you off the edge! What? Oh my god, I'm gonna take my time with you. I'm gonna take my time with you! Oh, I'm gonna get you from behind, bitch. Mm, yeah. Get dicked on. Yeah, I took your gloves. Now I'm gonna go beat my meat with them. <laughs> oh my god, if you get saved by these fucking dogs. Oh no, I'm getting text and shit. No! Fucking dick hugger, no! No, no, no! For the love of Jesus! Jesus in a manger! Baby Jesus! Baby Jesus! No! Oh god! I don't want to do any of that again! Alright, for this boss, I'm not allowed to heal. Fun. This essentially means I need to perf- I need to perfect this boss. That is not happening. Jesus Christ! Damn! I didn't realize you were gonna- Oh my god! Jesus! This guy's got the power of Jesus on his side, I see! And he takes 15 years to swing once! Oh, that happens. Good. I'm glad he gets tree angel wings. Good. I'd love to not have a purple thing in my- mm, Just in my face! So as you can see, I was having a problem with Pontiff. So then I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna screw around. I've already been doing this for about an hour or so. Wh why not try to parry him? Which then led to the best performance I've ever done on a boss ever. <laughs> By the way, starting from the Dancer, th I haven't fought any other, any other boss from the Dancer on. I, I would always stop before the Dancer. So this was a lot of fun. Sorry that you guys hear my dog. He's... He's just, um, being a cock sniffer right now, because he's laying right next to me. He's laying right next to me. Ed, he's just bored. That's what he does. So like I said, this is literally the best I performed in any boss fight in Dark Souls 3 ever. So I'm just gonna let you watch the whole thing, because I- I'm sexy, and the punishment was I couldn't heal. Is he dead? <laughs> I, did, <laughs> I did it! Oh, Whew, I did it without healing. All right, that was how much easier. <laughs> ah, I forgot I knew how to parry. <laughs> uh, man, I should have been parrying this whole time. Jesus, that would have helped out immensely. Uh, I just tamed you, bitch. <laughs> oh God. Yep, no, I'm just a badass. <laughs> what can I say? You know what I'm saying? Oh man, that was the easiest boss in the game. This is the easiest. Oh my god, this game is so easy. God, no wonder I had to have ChatGPT. I'm over here flexing. You guys can't see it. <laughs> I can't. It's, uh, that, that's why I had to make ChatGPT make me a ridiculously hard. It's this game is too easy. 
<laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You guys heard me breathe because in all realism and what really happened there was I was shaking like a leaf, afraid to shit my pants because I did that seven fucking times. Oh, all right. Well, now I'm uh, <laughs> shaking still. So I'm going to go walk around a little. All right. I look really good. <laughs> it kind of looks like I'm about to go to Hogwarts. All right. So I completely forgot to say, but the penalty for this armor set is I can't roll. And now it's time to show you guys something that I've been waiting to show you guys, because I've actually, I've never seen this before in any Dark Souls 3 playthrough or anything at all. I have, I have never seen this. And it was probably the creepiest thing I've ever seen in Dark Souls 3. Oh my God. There's two of them. Oh shit. Oh nice, I get to punch its vagina belly. <laughs> Ow. Be a dick. Are you dead? What are you doing? Are you are you praying? Why is it praying? <laughs> Why is it praying? This is creepy as hell. Is this le is this happening? <laughs> okay, I don't want to watch you do this anymore. What was that? <laughs> Was that was that dog praying for death? He's like, I better, I better, well, I better wash all my sins away right now because I'm about to die and I don't want to go to hell. All right, we have made it to Anorlando, the weapon of choice in this area. The spiked shield. Defend the majestic halls of Anorlando with the finesse of the spiked shield, a true madman's weapon. Oh God. This guy is going to decapitate my pecker. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Are you friendly? You're not. Oh, I got it once. Ha ha. J Jesus Christ. <laughs> its attacks are so fast. Please die. <laughs> oh, man. I didn't realize I was a fucking king. And now it's finally time to get into this boss. And I'm just going to say it right now terrible boss that like just 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 terrible how are you going to create a boss called the devourer of gods it is it is such a cool sounding boss he's the devourer of gods and i'm able to beat him with a spiked shield <laughs> like okay yes yes i i i've played this i played these games i haven't played this one i've played these games a lot so like i can kind of get it but i absolutely hated this boss number one it, it took me several hours the reason it took me several hours wasn't because it was a well-designed boss it it wasn't like fighting the Watchers. That was such a well-designed fight. This fight sucked donkey dick. And the reason it sucked baby donkey dick is because he constantly disappears. Fun. He has a shite load of magic attacks. Fun. That you, that you just can't get away from. So you have to run around. Oh, that's a lot of fun. Which gives him opportunity to use more magic on you because you're running away from his magic. It was legitimately a poorly designed boss. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, I, I'm sorry. Okay. Like, if you like this guy, that, that's fine. To each his own. If you like him, you like him. That's fine. That's fine. I don't like him. He's boring. He's annoying. He's stupid. His his attacks are just it's it's repetitive. <laughs> There's so much wrong with this boss. Literally so much wrong. I would rather fight the TARDIS demon five times in a row than fight this guy. And honestly, if you comment down below, oh, well, the reason he's not as strong as he used to be is because in the lore, I don't care. <laughs> Period. Stop right there. I don't care. I will not read your comment. <laughs> oh, this sounds so dickish. I will not read your comment. All right. I've I've already said this too while while fighting this guy. So I'm just going to allow myself to speak for myself. Oh, we could have made this boss really badass. When he was 25, he was a badass. But now that he's 60, you know, he's old. That's just, you know, that's just what happens. What a terrible answer. <laughs> I don't I don't I don't care if that's actually the lore appropriate answer. What a terrible answer. That's like, well, it's like when your 80 year old grandfather was like, well, back in my day, I used to beat people up all the time. And you're like, oh, really, Grandpa? That's crazy. You're 90 now, though. So I could beat the fuck out of you with my finger. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Like, it, it, it who, who does that? F oh, thank God. A long time ago, you used to be good. We got another. <laughs> so on to the next armor set I picked up. Um, 
I decided to randomize the armor set, so why not? Uh, I got a, I, I, I got the full silver armor set, the silver knight armor set. So we're gonna wear that. The penalty for this, oh, oh my god, <laughs> is that a penalty? The penalty for this armor is, oh, oh no, I can't parry. <laughs> oh, oh no, I can't do that. God, what am I gonna do now? So on to Lothric Castle, and of course. We, we had an issue. And that issue is ChatGPT wanted me to use the mud pie in this area. Now, sure, for some reason in Dark Souls 3, they cap you at only holding 10 at once, which is really stupid. Just let me hold 99 poos. Like, <laughs> like what's wrong with that? And so I went through the whole entire area only throwing shite on people. Legitimately only throwing shite on them. And I got to the boss of the area, the Dragon Slayer armor, and it did nothing to him. <laughs> like I, I used all 10 and it did nothing because of course he's just an armor set. Like there's no person inside of it. So he can't be toxified. I had to go to ChatGPT to find out if there was any other way around this. And so poo doesn't affect him, which means I have to use the last weapon. So it said the last weapon you remember. I asked, I asked ChatGPT what should happen if uh, they can't be poisoned or they can't be toxified. And she just gave me a response was use the last weapon you remember receiving. The last weapon I legit legitimately remember receiving was the Irithal, is, is that what it's called? What is this called? The, yeah, the Irithal Rapier. That's the actual last weapon I remember receiving. I don't remember when I got it. I don't remember how I got it. I just know I got it. And so this is my first attempt using the rapier against the Dragon Slayer armor. Uh, this isn't my first attempt overall because I did. I, I tried several times to throw poop on him. It, it just didn't work. Um, but yeah, uh, th this was easy. <laughs> this guy's fairly predictable. Um, I, I, I would say fun if if not a little too easy. The next armor set we'll be using is the Herald armor set. The penalty for this armor set. <laughs> it's 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 getting dumber and dumber every time. You have to use throwables to defeat the boss. <sighs> okay, <laughs> I guess. All right, we have finally made it to the Irithal dungeon. The weapon of choice in this area is the Dark Moon Longbow. I, never once have I used this weapon. Let's hope it's good. Snipe enemies from a distance with the mysterious Dark Moon Longbow as you delve into the depths, a uh, depth of Irithal dungeon that's all that's all they had to say pro tip the dungeon is full of echoes play a haunting melanie on your dark moon longbow and maybe the imprisoned undead will join you in a musical revolt yeah i'm pretty sure that'll work god i'm glad you're friendly <laughs> you are the creepiest version of Gollum i've ever seen in my entire life oh my god this is like if Gollum had se <laughs> This is like if Gollum had sex with a naked mole rat. Why are you staring over there now? All right, well you have a good day. Mwah. See you later, buddy. Are you friendly? You're not friendly. You are not like your friend. I need you to get the fuck out of the way though. Oh, good. Oh my god. Oh, cock sniff. <laughs> Damn it, Gollum. What? <laughs> I swear to God that went through his head. Oh no, <laughs> no, I got, I really have to, I mean, I don't have to fight technically. I could, I could just walk away, <sighs> but I ain't no bitch. Oh Jesus. <laughs> I didn't know Bruce Lee was going to come in. My God, martial law just showing up out of nowhere. Jackie Chan, <laughs> Jackie Chan spin kicking near me. No! Oh, cock milk. Damn, is that my, uh, my dead? <sighs> God. Please die. Oh, come on, man. You have a dick hair of health. Oh, God. Oh. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, there's so many of them. I'm not do- this is gonna take forever. Is this your dining room? <laughs> is this where you eat horses? <laughs> what is this? Is it, oh, was I right? Is that horses? That looks like a horse's head. What is this? You're just down here eating horses? Sounds like a healthy meal. A balanced part of your daily diet. Oh, buddy, you need, <laughs> you need skincare, all right? You need to put some lotion on that. That's 
That is, those are some deep, deep... Oh, man. You know, you're probably a prisoner. Makes sense. Oh, my God. You guys know what I just thought of? Hold on one sec. <laughs> this is such a dirty, stupid thing. Look how big his hands are. Could you imagine the... <laughs> Did you imagine the size of this dude's wang? Oh, you know what? It, they probably cut it off. <laughs> they probably cut it off and they're using it as skin on a boat. <laughs> so, so, something stupid. Oh my god, the amount of spam. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so stupid. The amount of spam that comes off this man whenever he's finished. Do you know what I'm saying? Jesus could fill up a pool. <laughs> could fill up a pool. All right, and we have made it to the profaned capital. God, I'm so glad to be out of that stupid prison area. The profaned capital deserves to have all of its treasures taken from it. By using the pickaxe, you should be able to, unless you have a, oh God, unless you have a different choice to pick from? Uh, pro tip, the capital is eccentric, to say the least. Don't be surprised if you stumble upon undead art installations or philosophical debates. I can't believe I was able to pronounce that word. On the meaning of immorality? Whew, man, I'm so glad that was a tip. Alright, so I'm not gonna lie to you guys. At this point in the playthrough, I didn't feel like hunting for anything. I didn't feel like looking around. So I literally just straight shotted straight through to the boss immediately. Okay, so regular firebombs don't do anything to him. They're 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 so weak that it it just doesn't phase him. Okay, regular firebombs also don't phase him. <laughs> or black firebombs. Nice. Let's see the thunder fire or the thunder bombs. The, the lightning urn. Okay, there's something. All right, maybe I have to buy it. A million lightning urns. How much health does this guy have? That was really weird. So as you guys just saw, I can definitely use the lightning urn to cause damage to him. The bad thing is, is I will never have enough lightning urns to destroy this guy. So I had to come up with a different solution. That's, that's so, th every chunk is 5,000. How much Fucking health does this guy have? It was like 6,000 almost. It was like 588, but let's just make it 5,000 just so I can so I can do quick math. I did one, two, three. That was four times. So this thing has 25,000 health? Oh my god, this is gonna take me a fortnight to use a pickaxe. A lot happened while fighting this guy because I had literal hours to do it because every every swing of anything was 100 health and he has over 25,000 health. I was able to contemplate on a lot of things and then Sad things happened. Oh God, no way! That's, that's, that's just a bummer. Yes, yes, that was a legit bummer that, that just crushed my soul. And after picking away at this guy for another hour, probably, it, this took so long, I was finally able to whittle him down to almost no health. However, again, I have the, the the thing said you have to kill him with a throwable. Huh? That uh, play, play smart and not had it. This is what I did. Ha ha! I beat him with a throwable. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's the that's literally the only way I could see myself doing that. So boom, I did it. And of course, the penalty for this armor set I'm very excited for is no penalty. You've lucked out. <laughs> Oh, thank God. Finally. I mean, I, I still have to beat the stupid boss with a really annoying weapon, probably. But hey, you know what? You, you know what? I've won in my eyes. So now we have gotten to the point of this walkthrough where I'm going to have to apologize to you guys. I accidentally messed up. 100% my bad. I, I, I just I wasn't paying any attention at all. And I went through the Grand Archives with, with the Dark Moon Bow. I don't know why. <laughs> I literally don't know why. I just kept going and uh, I cleared the whole entire area with this stupid bow and it was annoying and it was just the worst time I've had in such a long time when it comes to Dark Souls. Um, and then I realized it, I, I didn't have to use the Dark Moon Bow here. Uh, the, the weapon of choice here, uh, I'll, I'll tell you guys in a little bit or my old self, my other self will tell you guys. But yeah, so just, just straight up, I apologize. I, I, here is me going through this area, even though I didn't have to with the Dark Moon Bow. But don't worry. I then circle back, start from the beginning, and go through the whole area with the new weapon. What? Why did I do that? <laughs> I 
<laughs> a sub oh my god. I'm so tired of this place. Come on. I was about to say, man. Please don't let him hit me. Oh god. Oh god. Why does that take 14 years to take? Oh god. I, 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 I did not mean to fall into you. Oh my god. All right. This fight is fun. It's, it's so fun. It's, you know what? It's so much fun. I feel like I kind of want to save it for later. You know what I mean? I got, I got, yeah, yeah. You know what? Yeah. I'm, I'm just going to save this fight for later. You've been a lot of fun. Um, there's just no reason to do this. I'm just going to run away from you like a pansy. Salted sexually. <laughs> this area. Oh, God. Who is you? There's three of you? Yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm not dealing with this. I'm just going to, I'm just going to run away from all you. You know, <laughs> oh my god, I'm so stupid. You know, with my face covered in all this coom, it reminds me of, uh, uh, y y you guys, <laughs> I mentioned this so much. You guys know the, uh, that, that famous image of the tiny blonde lady on the couch and with, uh, behind her is like five big ol', <laughs> big ol', just giant dong wielding black dudes. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like her after that shoot. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and it all dries up and you have to flake it off. <laughs> Gross. I, I almost made myself gag thinking of that. Oh man, that poor girl. I hope she got paid a lot. I, I also hope that they pay for her back surgery because it got bent out of shape. <laughs> I've never seen it or anything. <laughs> I've never seen. I don't. I don't. I, you know. I'm. I, I. I'm. I don't watch that type of stuff. You know. I'm a. I'm a very holy man. You know. I don't. <laughs> I don't partake in that. Those dirty acts of uh, uh, dirtetry. No. No. You know. I don't. I don't need to watch porn. I live it. <laughs> I don't know if I'm allowed to say that word. I don't need to eat corn. I live it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Okay. No. You don't. Okay. I don't either. Oh, my jizz protection wore off. I gotta, I gotta re, gotta redunk my head in this big old bowl of salmon. <laughs> Gross. Oh, this is one hell of a fight. <laughs> this is so boring. I'm so bad at dodging that. It's not like it's not even funny anymore. But anyways, um, I basically already got through this area with the Dark Moon bow, so. I'm going to now redo this area from the bottom up, not taking any shortcuts and defeating the boss with the weapon. Oh God, <laughs> with the weapon of this area. So we are now in the next area is the Grand Archives. The weapon of choice, it haunts me to read the Handmaid's Dagger. I so hope this is better than Dark Souls. Like, I still have reoccurring nightmares of the punishing, suffering, just the pain that I had for using the Handmaiden's Ladle so fucking much in Dark Souls 2 for the Dark Souls 2 chat, uh, chat GBT playthrough. Weapon shreds, like kind of. Maybe I should two hand it. Oh my, yes, oh, oh. Okay, this was all worth it. This was all worth the suffering of and I slice so many times. Oh my god, this weapon might be OP. <laughs> oh, all right. Dip my head in some salmon. All right, perfect. Nice. I wonder who's pull a sermon. Yorms. <laughs> Yorms. Makes sense. Makes sense. So as you guys saw, fighting through this area again with the Handmaiden's Dagger was pretty easy because this thing is amazing. I, I couldn't believe how well it is. M maybe it doesn't work as well in other areas. I will say the range of it kind of sucks, but this is a pretty damn good dagger. And it took care of the boss easily too. This was like my third try. <laughs> it took it took less than an hour to defeat this boss. Using that dark moon bow, I, I did that for like six hours. <laughs> I did that for like six hours. Ah. Oh. Sometimes a mistake pans out because you guys are you guys were able to see me perform terribly using that dark moon bow and giggling about jazz on the face, you know, because I'm I'm an idiot. But but then I was able to just quickly defeat this guy with this with this dagger. Oh man, it just oh, thank God. Next area. Fuck. Fucking oh, finally. Ash one. Oh, do I have to kill his brother too, you or is this it? Remain.
Ah, oh, thank you, Jesus. All right, I decided that b before we de defeat the final boss, I need to go and clear out all the optional bosses as well. So we have entered the smoldering lake, the weapon of choice, the soldering iron or soldering iron. I have no idea if this is good. I hear, I hear it's terrible. Let's see. Unleash fury havoc at smoldering lake with the soldering iron. Heat things up and boldly declare the soldering iron, turning lakes into saunas since, well, now feel the burn. What? <laughs> My fury friend. Pro tip, the lake is smoldering. But don't be fooled, take a refreshing dip to cool off, but watch out for any flaming surprises lurking beneath the surface. Cool, I wanted to fight an electrified trimmer that... Weirdly enough... Oh god, I, can't, I forgot that this arrow guy was around here. That weirdly enough kind of looks like a... I don't know if you guys have seen it, it's kind of an old movie now. Uh, you, anyone ever seen the original Jumanji? Remember when that, that flower plant or whatever it is was like murdering people? That's what that reminds me. All right. Why are there so many flaming crabs down here? God. I feel like I'm in Angelina Jolie's pews. <laughs> oh, that's gross. I just said that she had pews. Or I just, I just said that she had crabs. That's hilarious. I'm an idiot. I only have a few words to say. I hate this place. I hate this weapon. I don't ever want to come back. I never want to see this weapon again. Boss defeated. Let's just move on took so many fucking <laughs> it took so many fucking hours uh you could tell by like just the, the the way i finished speaking i was just like yeah i'm i'm done yeah that makes sense a lot that makes sense a lot how every single attack i just did you know completely missed because <laughs> this that's just this is this game oh my god how long that took Please God, please God, please God, please God, just fucking die. Please God. Oh, thank God. I don't want to do that again. Time to get rid of this stupid weapon. And we have finally made it to the consumed King's Garden. The weapon of choice here, thank God, is the great sword. Oh, I'm so happy. Wander through the consumed King's Garden with the mighty great sword. Make sweeping arcs and announce the great sword because sometimes subtlety is overrated and you just need a, re a really big blade. A pro tip in this area, the garden is consumed. Yeah, no, no shite, but not forgotten. Stop and smell the undead roses, but be cautious. Some of them have a deadly aroma oh my god all right the, the penalty for this armor was i couldn't i i wasn't allowed to block so this is actually the first time i fought this boss and overall it, it's actually a, a pretty good boss uh pretty fast pretty pretty agile i would say but not unfair in any way uh i think this was the third I, I think it was the third time i went up against him i i didn't really learn any of his move set but overall he he was pretty easy Having said that, I was also using the greatest weapon of all time, the Great Sword, so I I, I kind of molly whopped him real quick and moved on. So, next boss. All right, so we have ventured into the Untended Graves. The weapon of choice here is one we've actually already done. It is the Claymore. Roam through the darkened, untended graves, wielding the versatile Claymore. Swing it gracefully and announce the Claymore because sometimes you need a sword that's not too big, not, oh God, not too small, just right and what's wrong with using it twice no tip for this area the graves are untended but not uninteresting attend an undead tea party or challenge the gravekeeper to a game of undead chess it's a grave matter of strategy oh god and of course we have yet another armor set as well the winged <laughs> <laughs> the winged knight set. Oh my god, I am chubby and beautiful. Yep, I knew I'd roll like a dickhead. And the penalty for this armor set <laughs> is the dumbest penalty I've had this like thus far. No joke. I can only swing at the enemy when he swings at me first. So, essentially what I'm getting out of this is every time he swings, I'm allowed to swing once. So I have to swing in between his swings. That's, that's, this is gonna be so much fun. I can't wait to do this for another five hours. Oh, two of them. That seems like a lot of fun, but... Whew, man, you know, 
not today. <laughs> not today. I'm just going to keep going so that way I can preserve my sanity for a little bit. So once again, we are at yet another boss. And once again, we have an easy boss. I don't know. Maybe this is me. Maybe it's because I'm, I'm more leveled up. Maybe it's because I have a better weapon. I genuinely feel like the the first time you fight this guy, he's more difficult in a way. If he had the amount of health he has now at the beginning, he would definitely be more difficult. But it, it's it's solely because of his mid transition that that mid transition makes him just a whole nother beast. He doesn't trans transition at all in this fight. So he's just a, a guy. <laughs> and because he's a guy and he's not like super quick or anything like at all, nothing like the dancer or anything, he's pretty easy to counter so this was not a hard fight at all this was my second try on to the next boss all right someone explain this to me <laughs> did i go back in time am i am in my back in time and that's why i'm in this place how how, how did i get back here oh <gasps> no way oh i need this oh uh, the penalty for this is i'll look badass <laughs> oh no i'll get to the penalty in the, at, before the next boss all right, we have made it to Arch Dragon Peak. Look at this beautiful scenery. It's ridic this is ridiculous. We've made it to Arch Dragon Peak. The weapon of choice for this area is the whip, the classic whip. This is, this is going oh, to be fun. Oh my God, fighting the Nameless King with a whip is going to suck balls. Ascend to Arch Dragon Peak with the majestic elegance of the whip. Crack it like a, 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 dra a draconic? a draconic conductor and announce the whip because every peak deserves a touch of theatrical flair. Okay, I actually kind of, I actually enjoyed that one. Pro tip, the peak is breathtaking. I, I literally just said that. Literally, <laughs> that's funny. Literally, practice your dragon roars and watch as the echoes summon the attention of the local dragon flock. They're surprisingly judgmental critics. Yeah, I bet they are. All right, so like I was saying, the penalty for wearing the wolf armor set or 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 Artaurus's armor set, essentially, uh, I'm pretty sure this is Artaurus. Maybe I'm maybe I'm stupid. I, I mean, I am pretty stupid. But the punishment is, <laughs> oh man, this might be the hardest punishment yet. I'm not allowed to complain. Yay. That wasn't a complaint. <laughs> that wasn't a complaint. All right, no complaining. I love this game. It's perfect and nothing is wrong with it. So many, <laughs> there's so many jokes I want to make right now, but I'm going to keep them to myself. Take my whip, boy. <laughs> oh my God, I'm going to get in trouble one of these days. I know it. <laughs> oh man. Hey, you like that bitch? Oh, you like the pain, don't you? Call me daddy. <laughs> Call me daddy. God, I'm retarded. All right, I'm going to whip you a few times and then it's your turn to whip me, okay? Ooh, yeah, right across the face. Oh, slapped right on the dick. That one hit the dick. I could tell. I could tell by how you moved. Oh, God. <laughs> this guy just got his friend. He, this guy <laughs> is oblivious to the world. His friend just got molly whopped by a beautiful, beautiful man, obviously, <laughs> with a whip. I, I whipped his man into shape, and he has no idea. He didn't hear the whoosh, whoosh, and his friend going, oh, shit, oh, fuck, oh, my God, you're using a whip? What are you, Indiana Jones? Oh, God. And he didn't hear any, he didn't hear any of that. No, he's like, I need to keep looking over this tall, tiny wall. <laughs> uh, I love this game. This guy is Fucking huge! I did, I just realized it. This guy's gonna murder. Oh my god! His blade is the size of me. <laughs> oh my god! This, this is gonna be my first death in this area. Oh my god! You didn't even mean to hit me. I go to church every damn Sunday, and you gonna bring the demons out of me? Seven. Seven damn it. Oh my god, it's gonna take 14 years. There has to be a gimmick behind this, right? Oh my god. Uh, dude, I was in mid-roll. God, you didn't touch me. Oh my god, you didn't touch me. There has to be a gimmick to this, right? I feel like every single, uh, every time Dark Souls does a boss that takes like zero damage, it's because they have a gimmick behind them. And yes, I've actually never been here before, ever. All of this is new to me. I don't know if a whip can do a plunge attack. It can't. <laughs> oh no. Whips can't do plunge attacks. I mean, that makes sense, I guess. Sacagawea, I'm gonna have to, I'm really gonna have to tick away at this guy? Really? 
So with this boss, I'm just going to fully accept I fucked up. Okay, like I I apologize. I genuinely messed up. I'm not going to try and hide it. I'm not going to try and make it look like uh, I actually sat here and just ticked away at this little, just tickling his feet this whole time. I spent several hours doing this, by the way. Several hours just slapping the hell out of this guy's bony ankles. And it, it does nothing. It does like seven damage when like fully leveled. And it does, I think, 18 with electric thrown on it. And so in my head, after doing this for, for doing this for several hours, I was like, okay, so maybe if I do a plunge attack with a weapon, maybe that will... Uh, remove some weird buff that he's got and I can actually start doing real damage to him. That was my thought. So I was like, you know what? Why not give it a try? I mean, we'll just give it a try. There's no way one plunge attack is going to murder. Um, it did. So uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I, I didn't think it was going to legitimately just one tap him. All right. Let's hope this doesn't just straight up murder him. <sighs> Damn it. Fucking damn it. Please be Richard's rapier. Or, or, Richard. Yes, Ricard's rapier! Oh, what a blast from the past! This has been in every. <laughs> this has been in every single one of my Dark Souls playthroughs. That's crazy. Nothing will remain once the bell has tolled. For whom the bell tolls? Time marches on. If anyone, <laughs> if no, <laughs> no one will get that reference. If anyone give gets that reference, you have you have now become my best friend. I will I will kick off the other guy. <laughs> I'll I'll push him aside, and you will become my best friend. My God, I didn't realize how many fucking men were over here. Jesus, God, I just had a sausage party performed on my face. Jesus, I wonder, do. <laughs> this is a dumb. Do snakes have dicks? <laughs> they have to, right? How is there? How is there? They banging female snakes? Oh no! I know how they bang female snakes. What am I saying? They tongue them. <laughs> that's just so. That's so. Uh, like it's funny, but it's very gross to think that way. Look at this tomfoolery I've accident. I've accidentally created for myself. I didn't know the whole. F Fucking snake village was gonna come out and try to lick me. There's gotta be some cool shit over here, right? For them to have a whole armada just waiting to attack you right here. There's gotta be something cool over here, right? Nothing? Nothing is over here? Okay, this is holy ground, okay? You're not supposed to attack people on holy ground. That's the rules. This looks promising. Is that Havel? Oh, <gasps> that's Havel. Oh, that's Havel. <laughs> that's Havel. I have to fight Havel with a whip. Are you? What did you? Did you? Did you really just do that to me? Havel. Oh, Havel. What a dick. I didn't mean to do that again. I meant to drink. Havel, why did you write? Why did you wipe shit on yourself? Please roll. Sacagawea. That's how I do it. Okay. You, you roll and then you slap. There we go. That that's the way to do it, guys. Yes. Okay. This. Oh my God, Havel. I'm about to fuck your mom. Get ready, boy. Come on, bitch. Want to keep going? Want to keep going? Huh, bitch? Huh? You want to keep going, bitch? Put some more aids on my. <laughs> put some more aids on my weapon, real quick. Fuck you, Havel. Yeah. I have now conquered you in every game. Lick my dick hole. And now it's finally time to talk about my nameless king fight. I'm going to get all the negatives out of the way right right here because even though I'm going to talk some mega shite about this kid about this boss, uh, my overall sentiment of him is is actually is actually really good. I hated this boss. This boss took me I counted it. It took me 17 hours. Because for some reason, I don't know why, maybe it's because I'm literally a Narnar, I, I I thought I couldn't block as well. So even though I couldn't complain, which I'm not going to lie, I, cr I, I may have stepped on that. I didn't cross it. I may have stepped on that line a few times. I also, for some reason, thought I couldn't block. So, so, so it doesn't matter because this guy is literally the king at being a dick hugger. It, oh my God. When, when people talk, uh, it, it's not as bad. I'll, uh, like it, it really isn't. 
But when, uh, crap, what's the name of the first boss in, in Elden Ring? I'm, I'm blanking on his name. When he does that slow hammer, like he's wielding it back and it's taking him five minutes and you're like, you're already dodging around. You've used all of your stamina and you're like, dude, are you going to swing? And then he finally does it. I feel like this is kind of how like this guy attacked. Now, don't get me wrong. Name is King doesn't, he doesn't take that long to attack. But he'll he'll start to do it fast and slow down for just half a second. That slow down, that's when I roll every time. This guy tricked me. <laughs> this guy tricked me into a, rolling wrongfully several times. I hated him. He was the most annoying boss ever. This was the hardest thing I have ever done in any Dark Souls. Having said that, oh, oh, also, but sometimes he just hits you. He'll if he's on the dragon and he does his electric attack, just be ready for it to hit you. Even if you're out of the way fully, it's going to hit you. <sighs> Having said all of that, this was the greatest boss I've ever gone up against, and I will absolutely be going up against him this way from now on. The the, <laughs> the amount of just awesomeness I felt finally Aiming this motherfucker. I, I, it was it, it was the greatest. I don't even know if a drug could give you this. <laughs> I don't even know if a drug could give you this adrenaline. It, it it was the greatest feeling I've ever had playing any video game at all. Legitimately. I had so much fun in this fight. It, it, the Nameless King is by far the greatest Dark Souls, possibly Elden, like even including Elden Ring, the greatest Dark Souls boss I've ever fought. And I can't wait to fight him again. This isn't a joke. After recording this, I played through this game again so I could beat him. My God, I love him. <laughs> oh my God. I, fi I finally did this. This is no joke. This boss has, ta <laughs> this boss has taken like 15 hours. <laughs> oh, oh, thank God. <laughs> This has been the hardest thing I have ever done in a Dark Souls game. Oh my god. Oh, holy shite. I can't believe I finally did it. If I haven't become the god king of dodging in Dark Souls, all of this has been for nothing. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I never have to see that guy again. God, he was such a cock licker, and now I can complain because I'm done with this armor. He was such a dick sniffer. God, I'd rather rip my dick off and throw it in a river than to ever fight him again. It's kind of crazy because I want to fight him again, but but I, I want to I want to use a real sword. God, that was fucking difficult. And that took forever, literally forever. I'm gonna admit something right now that is not gonna make any sense, even though. That fight, and I'm not kidding, I'm, I'm gonna have to add it up because it I've been doing this for a week now. Probably like five days. I'm gonna to assume took at least 15 hours. Because there was one day I played for 10 hours and I didn't beat him. However, I will say this, even though this was the hardest boss I've ever fought in, this was the hardest boss I've ever fought in, I enjoyed almost every minute of it. I know that sounds stupid. That was the greatest fight I've ever had in a Dark Souls game. And now here's some more tomfoolery I did. Are you, you've you gotta be, you gotta be sniffing my pubes, man. Like, what, what is this? All right, not bad for my second try, but <laughs> this guy's gonna mollywop me so hard. Yeah, <laughs> there it is. Okay, yeah, right. Mm. <laughs> I'm not gonna complain. I'm not gonna complain. He he hit the air next to me, which killed me, obviously. Duh. <laughs> Everyone knows that when someone goes to punch someone and they are 10 feet away and they hit the air next to him, it still injures them. Duh. <laughs> oh, man. So fucking... I <laughs> oh, my God, dude. The amount of fucking time I've put into this is 100% worth it because I love this game and it's there's nothing wrong with it at all. Oh, you rolled out of that and you could obviously see where that shouldn't have hit you. We're still going to make it hit you because we're Dark Souls. We're annoying as fuck. I really just no hit this dragon. <laughs> he didn't touch me once. Get ready because this guy's about to fuck my mom. I, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> 
this dude, <laughs> if I were allowed to complain, I would say how I am going fucking insane because of how fucking slow he attacks. You, you think he's going to, he, he like goes, he does it and then he stops for half a second and then he finishes through. It is so fucking not annoying because I'm not allowed to complain right now. I don't totally feel like flipping my whole fucking table or anything. Fuck. All right, we have finally made it to the last place. The Kiln of the First Flame. Weapon of choice, the Demon Fist, which I've actually never used before. Enter the Kiln of the First Flame with the Chaos Bringing Demon Fist. Make Fury passionate fist attacks and declare the Demon Fist a timeless choice for a timeless flame. Let's turn up the heat. Side note, if you can't tell, oh God. Side note, if you can't take it, stay out of the kitchen. <sighs> man, <laughs> this is, it, it gets, ah, <laughs> uh, man. I've, I've never read anything more cringy than everything written by ChatGPT. And finally, we are on the last boss of Dark Souls 3. I'm pretty sure I went through and got every single boss. I hope I did. If I didn't, comment down below. Tell me the bosses I missed. Of course, I didn't do the DLC. That'll be for another video because this has taken way too, way too long. It's been over 40 some days since I uploaded last, so I apologize, guys. And by the way, thank you for having patience. Like I, not, not many people know this. I, I do have a ridiculously busy plate. Like I, I, my schedule is always really full. So thank you guys for having the patience and waiting for this. It, it truly means a lot. But the final fight against the soul of Cinder. I, he, yeah, he's pretty cool. <laughs> if, hmm. If I were to compare him to the final fight of, say, Elden Ring, I kind of prefer this. Uh, the, the Elden Beast is just not really a fun fight. Um, the, uh, Radagon, I do believe, or what, whatever the other person's name is, that's kind of a cool fight. Gimmicky a little, but kind of a cool fight. Um, this one has a gimmick. Uh, once it becomes flame on powers, he turns into an, an anime samurai, which is kind of cool, but annoying at the at the same time but overall honestly not too hard of a fight i you know i decided i decided after i was done filming this the uh, filming after i was done recording this i decided that i was just going to look up uh, on a few websites what are some of the worst weapons in, in dark souls 3 i swear chat bt chat gbt just went to just selected a bunch of random websites and was like, oh, this is a list of the worst weapons. Cool. I'm going to give you these because almost every weapon I used on this besides like the claymore and the great sword were on those lists of worst weapons. So yay, that's a lot of fun, <laughs> but ah, man, this has been the greatest video I've, I've ever done. <laughs> I absolutely love this video. Thank you guys so much for waiting. Thank you guys for watching. If you made it this far, you're literally a king and I thank you and we can become best friends. Um, why not subscribe? Like the video, like the video. Uh, thank you very much, guys. There's there's one last thing we have to do before uh, before we end, though. And that is, like I said at the beginning, we have to drink this beer. And as we do a toast, I just want to say thank you all for going on this journey with me. It's taken way too long and I'm glad it's over. But honestly, I have I have a little sorrow that it's ended because I don't want it to end. <sighs> Sadly, it's not yet over. <laughs> I have to do the DLC, but yeah, cheers to everyone and I'll see you in the next one.